Um, hey guys, so I recently got this milligram scale right here. Um, that's for when I finally eventually open up my base set booster box. Who knows when that will happen. Now, um, I've had to change up the recording setup a bit here because I needed to be on a flat surface so that the scale would work. Usually I record on a carpet, which it wouldn't work on. So, um, just gonna... So I'm gonna weigh a few packs that I opened recently. Now you can see this one is... I'm gonna go with 21.12 and we take, whoops, keep messing this up. Fourth time recording this, but we take this one as well and this one is 21.1 and we take the next one and it's also 21.01. Now, if we take these cards, you can see just a regular booster pack with Oh gosh, hard to show this, but there's a five commons, three uncommons, and then a hollow. So we're going to take this hollow, we're going to take the code card from that pack. Now this one is, again, just a regular pack with the energy and um, everything, but this has got a regular rare. We're going to take the regular rare on the code card, so we can put these aside now. Um, and then here, again, regular pack. This is really hard to show. My, my camera setup isn't really working. But this is an ultra rare. And the code card. So, one thing I noticed when um, opening packs more recently is that the code cards when you get ultra rares and hollows is this one. Now, when you get commons and uncommons, or, sorry, just regular rares, my bad, um, it's this code. And now we're going to take a few, so we're going to take the hollow first. The reason I think they've done the hollow bleed is for this exact reason. Um, they wanted to fill the whole space with a hollow, not just the, the surface there. But if we take that and see 1.91, and then the code card, 1.24 so if we add those two together it is 3.15 and just to double check we'll weigh them both at the same time yeah 3.15 so then remember that was 1.25 for the code card there um i don't know if this is a new thing that no one's realized but if you then take the code card for this one it's 1.41 so it's 0.15 milligrams more, or sorry, 15 milligrams more. And you can see the other one was 0.19, and this is, um, or 1.9, and this is 15 milligrams lighter. So if we take them both, surprise, surprise, equals 3.15. Now, I'm not sure why this weighed 10 milligrams more, but if we take it, it still weighs 1.9, and if we put the code card on top, 3.17 so I think the texture is what's doing that but it, you'll notice that the code cards weigh a different amount again don't know if I'm making a breakthrough or not but 1.25 1.4 we'll go with 1.4 so it's 0.15 milligrams more or 15 milligrams more my bad and then 1.75 we're gonna go with that and then Plumeria, um, 1.9 we'll say. It keeps differentiating because um, the scale's a really cheap scale. But, but yeah, you can see that the 15 milligram difference made from the hollow and the um, regular rare is made up for in the code cards. And this is to counteract weighing because um, I believe then the, the packs, just the... The packs are what make the weight difference, and so when people find heavy packs, they expect, you know, the ultra rare to be the thing that's making it heavier, but it's just, in reality, the plastic on the pack. And, yeah, I think this is a cool thing that Pokemon's done. Again, not sure if anyone else has realized this, but it's used to counteract weighing now, so that's a really good thing. So, you would notice the old code cards, they were all the same for every single pack, but recently they changed it to this thing, the white code card and the green code card. And yeah, it's a cool thing Pokemon's done. Um, fortunately slash unfortunately, you can still weigh 
ba- um, code cards or packs that had code cards before these, so that includes base set and all that, which I'll be doing once I get mine. But um, at least I guess now it's harder for people to weigh cards because there is no real way to do it anymore. Um, we don't know. Maybe something will be found out. Like in Sun and Moon, there was the mapping, and maybe there'll be something like that in the future. But as of right now, you can't really weigh packs. So that's that's a good thing. But yeah, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next.